hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be making a seafood vegetable soup this is just only spinach and seafood so let's just jump right into it now for this recipe i'm going to be using spinach and i'm using one and a half bag of frozen spinach i'm going to be using some mackerel fish as well and this fish head you are seeing here the catfish head has been sitting in my freezer so i just decided to add it to the soup it's optional okay you don't have to use it if you don't want to we are going to be using some shrimps as well and we are going to be using um one bell pepper some ginger scotch bonnet peppers um seasoning cubes and crayfish now also we are going to be using some tomatoes i'm using bottled tomatoes for this recipe but if you want you can use the fresh ones they will give you the same flavor and taste okay and finally we are going to be using some red palm oil now let's start cooking in a big enough pot or pan we are going to add some of the red palm oil just let it dissolve or heat up a bit and then we are going to add our onion i'm sorry i didn't get to show you guys the onion just because i forgot <laughs> it was later on that i had to quickly slice the onion but you can still see that i used onion so um add the onion add some salt we are trying to you know give the oil some flavor before we fry our shrimps and the fish so after adding the onion the salt i also added a cube of the seasoning cubes yeah and by the way i'm using chicken no cubes if you want you can use fish seasoning it all depends on the flavor you are going for or what you have at hand so after adding the um, seasoning cube i went ahead and add the shrimps so i'm going to fry the shrimps for like two three to four minutes on both sides like after frying for two minutes i flip it over and fry for another two minutes and that's it maximum four to five minutes now after frying the chicken for about four to five minutes i took it off from the oil and in that same oil we are going to be frying the mackerel fish together with the fish head now i'm not trying to fry the fish i'm just you know kind of letting it soak up some of the flavor from the oil you get i'm just going to throw the fish in there and let it cook fry for about you know up to five minutes and then i'm going to take it off the heat Now here is our fish looking so glorious. <laughs> In that same oil, I'm going to be adding my blended crayfish, ginger, scotch bonnet peppers, and the green bell pepper. If you want, you can use red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, it, like any one you have, just use it. This is the one I have, the green one, and that's what I'm using. Like you, you can't even tell um much of the difference whether you use red green blue black yellow <laughs> whichever color you have just make use of it we always still get the same result okay now i'm adding my um bottled tomatoes and i'm going to mix everything all in together um to combine well and i'm going to cover the pot and allow this to cook or fry for about 10 to 15 minutes and i'll be back i 
I'm back and we are going to open up the pot stir it up a bit guys you can see this thing started splashing all over the place and this is one thing i hate about frying tomatoes <laughs> it gets messier but i keep cleaning as i'm cooking so that my kitchen will not be looking like what i don't know you can see that's that stuff that was on the white stuff <laughs> before i've cleaned it up that's how I do. I cook and clean immediately so that it will not stick there. Anyways, as you can see, I've gone ahead to add back the fish. I've added the remaining or the rest of the seasoning cubes. I, I also added some salt, a little bit more salt, right? I can't remember. Was that salt? Let me know in the comment section. Was that salt? <laughs> I added after the seasoning cubes and mixed it up you know I, I added the fish a bit earlier just because it didn't cook well when I fried it earlier you remember so after adding the fish I added the um, spinach and also I introduced back the shrimps we are going to gently stir these please be gentle because you don't want to scatter the fish in the pots okay um, yeah just gently stir it up cover the pot and let this simmer on a low to medium heat um, for about 10 minutes nothing more than 10 minutes or highest 15 minutes depending on the temperature or the heat you are using if that makes sense after that we are done voila it is so easy this is probably the easiest soup you can make today and it will turn out so delicious i enjoyed mine with some poundo yam fufu and it was so good if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe share and i'll see you guys in my next one bye